Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, this is uh, Mr. Raleigh. Uh, I'm here I, on the matter. I, I couldn't hear you. Uh, Mr. Raleigh, thank you for, uh, that was going to be my suggestion to log out and log back in, but you did use thank the you. chat. I am here on that matter, my honor. I, I am for the record, on the record, and uh, let the record show I am not a 13th Amendment a uh, uh, free Negro slave, nor chattel, nor 14th Amendment United States corporate citizen. Wow, here we go with the more sovereign citizen talking points already. Uh, but you know what you forgot to mention? You forgot to mention how much of a complete dumbass you are for uh, falling into this BS. I am a national, I am a Moorish American, and I have standing uh, as uh, 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 ancestral um, Are you having trouble reading that uh, PDF script off the uh, Savtard website? Mr. Uh, in Moroccan Empire, the adjoining islands by inheritance, but not by purchase. Uh, Moorish pedigree. I am competent. I am elodio, and I'm liberated. I am all I am I that I am all rights preserved and retained to out prejudice or recourse. Certi certificate registration number AA seven seven eight six nine March twenty fifth eighteen forty eight AD corresponding to the Marsh calendar thirteen sixty eight. Copyright owner, CM Bays, Clock of Destiny, March 25th, 48 AD, MC 1368, uh, Certificate Registration Number, AA 209316, March 31st, 1952, AD, MC one, uh, one three two seven masonry plus art uh, astro astrology history and geography clock of destiny two reu reused ed edition of the previous book of clock of destiny. And just what does this Clock of Destiny have to do with this case? Is it a guidebook on how to be a complete moron, softard, uh, so you don't have to follow the laws and regulations that everybody has to follow because you think you're special or something like that? I mean, uh, please explain that. Title 22, Chapter 2, Council Courts General Information. And certificate of re uh, certificate registration number AA two 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 one four one September eighth nineteen fifty two AD MC thirteen seventy two clock of De destiny Moorish American all uh, of uh, 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 AM all Moroccan national nationality card or identification with Zodiac Constitution and certificate AA 22, uh, 22-141 is the focus of the uh, determination for the, without a doubt, affirming relationship of the relation, relationship properly venue as law between the Moorish Franks 
and all, for, all foreign Christian nations. Title VIII, United States Code 1324, uh, Federally Protected Moors. Yeah, uh, that's fairly typical of you uh, sovereign citizen Moorish American softards who uh, don't bother to look up anything you spout off. I mean, uh, in this particular case, uh, Title VIII, uh, Section uh, 1324 is not definitely not what you say it is. It more has to do with um, bringing in and harboring certain aliens. So, uh, where the hell do you get your information from? Do you just pull it out of your ass? What did you say about the Christian nations? What did you just say about um, this only applied to the Christian nations? It says other foreign Christian nations. Other foreign Christian nation. What is a Christian nation? What is a Christian nation? Well, that I would not know because I am a Moorish American. I'm more into being related to Moorish American ideology. Well, first of all, the judge does bring up a good point. What is a Christian nation? Because the last time I checked, while the majority of religion in the United States is Christianity, uh, the government is supposed to be secular. Now, uh, obviously, you avoided that question because, well, you have no idea what you're talking about. Which leaves another question that uh, you should really answer. What does this have to do with you not paying any rent to begin with because last time I checked uh, religion is not exactly a factor in determining whether or not you're eligible to pay rent in the United States. In fact, uh, when I put in an application for the apartment I'm living in right now, a couple months ago, uh, I sure as hell didn't see anything on there about what religion I was in or anything like that. It just was asking about income levels and everything like that to make sure that I was able to pay for it. I was just trying to figure out, I was just, I was just listening. I was listening in. All right. Okay. Well, I have you checked in, Mr. Riley. So that was just supposed to be him checking in. See, oh, he just pretty much blew his whole argument on the whole check-in process. So, uh, dude, uh, now you're going to have to do that all over again. I don't think the judge is going to tolerate it. Okay. And, um, Mr. Dad. Are you requesting legal counsel? Uh, no. Oh my goodness, you're gonna go pro se, aren't you? How many times has that worked out for any of you soft hard morons? I mean, I've lost count of how many times it has completely failed, you guys. I mean, don't you ever learn? Yes, Judge. Calling case number 2334-5509. This is Harriet Tubman Apartments versus Brian Riley and all occupants. Good afternoon, Your Honor. For the record, Rania Haddad, PH4927, on behalf of the plaintiff. And, and Mr. Riley, can you please just state your name? Let's see, I want to prompt you. To... A minute. Okay. For the record, my name is Brian D. Raleigh. Hello? All right. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Thank you. Hmm. All right, have parties, have parties, were, were parties able to work out some type of resolution? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the parties have agreed to enter into a conditional dismissal with box four be checked. Mr. Rayleigh's balance due and owing is $2,088.46. He will pay, his, he, he's going to pay $742 on the fifth of every month, beginning on 5-5, five, five, 
2023. Um, that $742 includes his $542 of monthly rent per month, and then an additional $200 towards the balance. So he will pay on the 5th of every month, starting on May 5th, 2023, $742 until the balance reaches zero. Um, and then after the balance is zero, he will resume his regular monthly rent. And a regular monthly rent is 542, correct? Correct, Your Honor. Are you kidding me? 542 a month? I mean, you were trying to uh, screw yourself over in the legal system for rent that cheap? I mean, that is ridiculous. I mean, my rent is a bit higher than that. And, well, uh, I'm happy with where I'm at li I live at. But, damn, I wish I was paying that little for rent. Well, you can wish in one hand and crap in the other. And see which gets filled first. Yeah, we're just waiting. So $200 extra. Is it 2088.44? It is 2088.46. Okay. All right. And this 4B check? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Uh, Mr. Riley, do you understand the terms of this agreement? Yes, I do. All right. If you make those payments, your matter will be dismissed in the event. You don't, a judgment and a writ of eviction can be filed at the same time. We wouldn't have to come back to court. So uh, good luck. I wish you well. Have a great day. Well, that's the end of that video. But something tells me uh, that we may see him back in court one day for his eviction. I mean, beliefs that... Toxic uh, never tend to go away entirely. In fact, they tend to stick with you for the rest of your life. Unless he does some major soul searching and figures it out on his own. Yeah, that it's, it's inevitable. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.